If you trade options on Robinhood as a beginner, you might have trouble deciding, hmm, which one should I buy? When you click into one of the options, you will see even more information. There's a section called the Greeks. What's that? There are five Greeks here, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and Rho. These are risk factors associated with this particular option, this 930 Tesla call option. Understanding these can ultimately help you decide which option contract to buy or sell, depending on what you're looking for. In this video, I'm going to use my design thinking skills to help explain these five Greeks in a very simple and visual way. After this video, you should have a good grip of what they mean and start to use this new knowledge to buy your next call or put. Let's begin. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley and I'm here today to use design to help explain Greeks in option trading. The very first thing you need to know is that these Greeks are different for each option contract. This 930 Tesla call for example has a delta of 0.53, but for 940 call, the delta is only 0.47. In a nutshell, Greeks are risk factors and each option contract has a different strike price, so they all have different risk factors, and hence a different set of Greeks. There are five common Greeks that you need to know about in option trading, and we'll go down the list one by one. And as you know my style, you don't need to smash the like button just yet, do that in the end if you find this video useful or insightful. Hold me accountable. Now without further ado, let's dive right into option Greeks. Greek number one. Delta. Delta basically represents how the price of the option contract will change based on how the price of its underlying stock changes. In one of my option trading 101 videos, we already established that if the stock goes up, the price of that call option contract will also go up. It's very linear, simple relationship. Tesla, the stock, is trading at $932 per share. This Tesla 930 call is currently trading at $2,743. And if you remember, in option trading, it always trades in a block of 100, so it's 2347 times 100, so it's 2.7k each. And if the stock price, the Tesla stock price, goes up from 932 to, let's say, 942, a $10 gain, the price of this 930 Tesla call will also go up. The question here is, how much will this call option price go up to? This is where Delta comes in, because Delta defines how much would this option contract price change for every $1 the underlying stock increases? So in this example, the 930 Tesla call is a delta of 0.5298, let's just say 0.53. If the Tesla stock goes from 932 to 933, just $1 increase, then the price of this call option contract would go from 2743 to 2796. We're adding 53 because we're rounding the delta and also we need to multiply that by 100. And that's how we get 2796. So some general patterns for delta. The deeper the option is in the money, the higher the delta will be. Let's take a look at some examples. So Tesla stock is now trading at 932. For calls, anything below that price pill, that price component below that line is in the money, it's within the money. The 930 call is in the money with a delta of 0.53. If you go even deeper and 800 Tesla call, the delta is now 0.99. So in conclusion, an option contract with high delta, it just means there will be a bigger change for every single dollar its underlying stock increases. If I buy a really deep in the money call on Tesla, which gives me a relatively high delta, and if the Tesla stock price goes up the price of my Tesla call will go up more than one with a lower delta. Nowadays, if I were to buy a call, the delta is the first thing that we'll look at. Greek number two, gamma. Gamma represents how fast the delta will change based on how the price of its underlying stock will change. Just think about your physics class in high school. If delta is the velocity, that gamma will be the acceleration because it describes how fast the velocity changes. If by any chance you forgot about all the physics in high school, then uh, never mind. Let's continue. We can look at the relationships among gamma, delta, the stock price, and the option price. Specifically, gamma is saying how much would the delta change for every $1 the stock increases. This is where things get slightly more complicated, but interesting. Let's take a look at this example. 
Tesla currently is trading at $932 per share. In this Tesla call option with a strike price of $870, it has a delta of 0.8271 and a gamma of 0.0036. If Tesla, the stock, goes from 932 to $933 at $1 increase, because of delta, we will know the option price will go from $9648 to $7031. At the same time, delta will go from 0.8271 to 0.307 because of the gamma, the delta will go up by the gamma amount. Which means from now on, if Tesla goes from 933 to 934, another dollar increase, the price of this A70 call will go up not just by 8271, but 8307. If we zoom out and look at this whole relationship, the stock price is going to affect the option price by the delta amount. At the same time, the same stock price change will also affect delta by the gamma amount, which indirectly help increase the option price even more later on. Therefore, gamma actually helps accelerate the price increase of this call option if its stock is going up. Generally speaking, the deeper the option is in the money, the lower the gamma will be. Tesla is currently trading at 932. The A70 call is in the money. It's a gamma of 0.0036. If you look at this one for an 810 Tesla call, the gamma is only 0.0009. At the same time, the more out of the money the call is, the lower the gamma is as well. Look at this example, a $1,100 Tesla call. It also has a very low gamma of 0.0008. So gamma is really at its highest when the call option is at the money, meaning the strike price is very, very close to the current stock price. For example, a 930 strike Tesla call, its gamma is 0.0061 because the strike price 930 is very close to the current Tesla stock price 932. When you start to move away from it, like 925 strike, it starts to decrease to 0.0059. In conclusion, high gamma just means bigger delta change as the stock moves, which indirectly leads to a higher option price change for every $1 stock price change later on. Greek number three, theta. Theta describes the rate of time decay of the option prices. It basically means how much money this option contract would drop will lose every single day. Whether the underlying stock goes up or down or flat, this is called theta decay. In this example, Tesla $1,000 call has a theta of negative 1.6519. Meaning no matter what happens, this Tesla call option contract will drop, will lose $165 value every single day. Tomorrow, if Tesla stock is flat, at 932 again, the price of this call option contract would drop to 395. To see how theta relates to the stock price, well, there's actually not really a relationship between stock price and theta. Every dollar increase in stock price does not really affect theta, nor theta doesn't really drive the option price like the way delta and gamma do. I said not really because there are some really subtle nuances to it and that's the video for another time. But what we know for sure is that theta always drives the option price down as it chips away the option value every day. To look at some general patterns, the more in the money an option is, the lower the theta value is, meaning less time decay, less theta decay, less money the option contract will lose every day. For example, Tesla, the stock is trading at 932, an 800 Tesla call is pretty deep in the money. Theta is only negative 0.26. It loses $26 every day. Theta will be at its highest for at the money options. In this case, the at the money option will be the 930 Tesla call, and it has a theta of negative 2.6324, meaning every day this 930 call will lose about $263. In conclusion, high theta just means more money, the option value will lose every day. If I buy an option contract, whether it's a call or a put, by checking theta, I will know exactly how much money an option contract will be losing. And then I can level it with how much money value I feel comfortable for it to lose and then I can pick the one that I'm okay with. Greek number four, Vega. Vega measures how sensitive the option price is 
due to its implied volatility, which you can actually find in the same place, it's just above Vega, where it says implied volatility. In this example, the 930 Tesla call, it has an implied volatility of 60.32%. As this number changes, Vega would define how much the option price would change when all else being equal. So those three things are linked, implied volatility, Vega, and option price. Vega basically tells us how much the price of the option will change based on every 1% change in the implied volatility. So in the same example, if its implied volatility goes from 60.32% to 61.32%, 1 1% increase, this call option price will go from 27.43 to 27.86. Assuming the stock stays flat, time hasn't changed, etc. On the flip side, if its IV drops from 60.32% to 59.32%. This call option price would drop to $2,700. As some general patterns, the further the strike price is away from the current price, the lower the Vega is. So volatility won't have much impact on the option price. Like this $800 strike Tesla call expiring one week away, because it's pretty deep in the money, pretty far away from the current stock price. Even when Tesla, the stock is being volatile, drops $100, to 832, this call option will still be in the money. And this is an example of the movement of Tesla stock, the fluctuation, the volatility, will have less effect on making this option to go from in the money to out of the money. When it's not very sensitive to fluctuation, to volatility, the Vega will be low. That's why for this $800 Tesla call, its Vega is only 0.0409. When an option is at the money, like this one, 930 call, when a stock price is only 932, it has a very high Vega of 0.4324. Because volatility will have a high impact on the option price, you can go from currently in the money to out of the money pretty easily. And its option price will change by the Vega amount. In conclusion, high Vega just means the more option price will change for every 1% change of its implied volatility. You can expect very volatile stocks will have high Vega and hence high option price in general. Last one, Greek number five, Rho. Rho describes how sensitive the option price is relative to interest rates. Rho basically says what's the dollar value amount the option price will change for every 1% the interest rate goes up. And the interest rate here being the risk-free rate, the rate of the US Treasury bills. You won't see this information on Robinhood, but that's something you can totally look up on this website, for example. Treasury bills is essentially a loan to the government. You lend the money, they'll pay you back interest. As of today, the yearly rate is 0.275%. Meaning if you lend the government $100, one year later, they will pay you back that $100 with 25 cents as interest. To apply that to option trading, in this example, the 930 Tesla call, it has a row of 0.0634. If tomorrow for some reason Fed decided, hey, we're gonna increase interest rate from 0.25 to 1.25, 1% increase, then this call option price will go from 27.43 to roughly 27.49. The stock price and row are not really related like delta or gamma. Time and row are not really related either like theta. It's a general pattern, the more an option is out of the money, the smaller the row is. In this example, the 930 Tesla call has a row of 0.0634. But if you look at the $1,000 call, which is pretty out of the money, its row is only 0.0203. In conclusion, high row just means high option price change for every 1% Fed interest rate increase. So when you see row, think treasury bill interest rate. Row, treasury bill interest rate. Typically, this is the least important Greek overall because the federal government is not going to raise the interest every single day and the impact is relatively small in dollar amount. It's about $10-ish compared to theta, for example, which can go to $100, $300. All right, guys, we have covered all five option Greeks in option trading. Understand this can definitely help map your own risk tolerance level 
to those option contracts accordingly so that you don't trade options blindfolded or get taken advantage of. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. There are more related topics I've been to cover in the future. I will go deeper dive in each of them. If you have a strong preference of which one you want to see first, simply let me know in the comment section down below. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have learned what you wanted, well, congratulations. I hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you like free money and don't mind just two minutes of work, you can use my referral codes for one free stock from Robinhood, two free stocks from Webull, $10 worth of Bitcoin from BlockFi, and lastly, $5 free cash from the Cash App. If you sign up for that, in addition, I will give you $2 worth of Apple stocks. Great deal. Dividend paying stocks. You can find all the referral codes, links, and instructions in the description down below. If you want to see more finance by design videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content on the road. Have fun following your passion and keep using design to square up your finances. We'll see you on the next video. Tschüss!